Hey people, Zarth Womp here and welcome to episode 13 of World's End Club Blind. Last time, we discovered that sure enough, that cult is up to no good. They tried to brainwash the people who decide to stay behind and basically tried to sacrifice them, but we saved them. And also, Nuryomi, Nur she gained a new power, the F-Bomb. That we use to, well, stop a monster, and monster, demon, cyber dog thing. And now we save the group. And now we're going to do something new. Okay. Yes, yeah, sunset. You mean we're going to escape by riding the super lame bike? What? We're seriously riding a bike. Time to be complaining about whether it's lame or not. Really? That's your main but that's your main complaint, Chuko Chuko? Like really? That's your main complaint? I mean, how are your feet even gonna reach the pedals? Hey! Wait! All of you! Just the face! Yes, the face of someone who you should trust! Wait! I only wish to send you to the Tua! See? He came while you were all jabbering away. Come on, guys! Get on! It's either laying bike or laying guillotine! Let's beat it! The Go-Getters Club is off again! Ugh, I just ate my dinner. And I'm gassy. Uh, wait! I said wait, you dark brat! Yes, that's really gonna make him wanna stay! Exactly, especially when the when the person ordering is some crazy cultist. What do you think you'll do if you even get away? There's nowhere for you to return to. Well, it's better than being sacrificed to your computer. Tokyo doesn't even exist anymore. Though so really, why are you killing? If you have brainwashing. Brainwashing Jews are brainwashing methods. Why would you use it to get more members to your group? I mean, the more the merrier in that sort of case, right? Yeah, now we get a musical montage. <laughs> Just love how Chuko is not even. She's not even pedaling. I can't be can't even reach the pedals. You don't sing the theme song, you're not part of the group. Even though they split up twice already in the story. And one time involved a creepy cult, okay? Well, half the group said, hey, we'll stay behind for the creepy cult. Okay, story time. We made it to Kobe. Another giant hex. What's the deal with you, Kansai and Genu? You two certainly seem enthusiastic. I'm pretty sure they're just happy to be away from the cult. Of course we are! We're in K-O-B-E! You mean the steak pl- the, se the, the So do they have steaks? Do they have good steaks in Kobe? The Chinese characters for Kobe mean God's door. And from what I hear, Kobe meat makes good steaks. Yeah, I know that. When you hear Kobe, 
What is the first thing you think of? Steak. Kobe beef? Yeah. I know my cultures. Portopia? Mount Roko? Or Arima Hot Springs? <laughs> and then vanilla. Ice. Yeah, and then vanilla. Did someone say ice hot springs? I don't know. I didn't have, I don't have a voice for vanilla. The year company? Uh, Kansai said Hanshin Tigers. And Janu said Hoseki Suka Theater Company. Okay, my guess is the first one is a baseball team. And the second one is a theater company. Yeah, we're going to get Kagu. Yeah. That's right. The Hanshin Tigers is my most beloved baseball team. They're from right here in Kobe. Same goes for Hoseki Zuka. Nope. The tiger's home city is Nishinomiya. And Hoseki Zuka is literally in Hoseki Zuka City. <laughs> They're all from the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Let's go. What? Right now? Yeah, we're going to catch a play at a non-existent baseball game. Biking and walking to get this far. The bike got a flat tire on the way here. I'm so tired, I can't walk anymore. Hmm. In that case, let's camp here today. Yeah, they'll be careful, Jen. She could just get that crowbar at any time. I'm down for that. Yeah, good idea. But we're out of food. We need to get canned food and stuff like that. There was a supermarket on our way here. Maybe if we go there... We'll have to go back to the market. Yeah, let's head there and have a look. Yeah, and then what about Pochi? He just doesn't want any of that. He just wants to play his video game. Nioro, what's the matter? Everyone left already. Well, um... Hey, now, don't you try to use your feminine wiles on him again. What is that? This scrap of paper I've been holding all this time. It's like my good luck charm. X, X, Y. 12 times 12 times something. It says X, X, Y? I remembered when I heard what Jinu said earlier. She said that Kobe means God's door, right? Uh, I don't get it. What do you mean? My father went missing when I was eight. And right before that, he called me into his lab. Listen to me. Don't ever tell anyone about this paper I'm giving you. And don't you question why it has a bunch of naked ladies on it. Daddy needs this to get the long nights. On this paper are numbers. Numbers you need to open God's door. If something happens to me, use those numbers and open God's door. And then try to be his sugar baby. Don't worry. You can do it as long as you don't give up. And this is what he gave me. I had no idea what he meant at the time. What is this God's door? What does XXY mean? Dad just gave me this scrap of paper and disappeared. You don't know where he is? No. The only hint I have is this paper and these three letters written on it. But I won't ever give up. I swear I'll solve this mystery. Okay. Because if you never give up, you can overcome any obstacles. And then Rachel, he's just standing. He's just standing there watching this. No one's paying attention to him. Hmm, what well, odd? Why do they put that star next to the story? Okay, the paths are coming together again. Can't be on the arena.
Okay, talk to everyone. Because everyone's got something fun to say. Remember when we were escaping on the bike yesterday? We sang that song, right? The Go-Getters Club Anthem. <sighs> Even if the world ends, the Go-Getters Club will stay together. I love how that's a clause. That's a clause in the clause. They anticipate the apocalypse. I remember us singing it a lot back in the day. When she was still with us. Oh my gosh. Are they going to say that Vanilla died or that Yuki is somehow some reincarnated spirit? Oh, a sibling or a it club member? It doesn't look like there's anyone here in Kobe either. Ugh. I told you I was born in Oita, right? Yeah, Oita for life. My grandfather there was the head priest of a Shinto shrine. I don't know much about it, but I heard it's a really ancient and important shrine. But my father was the second son, so his older brother inherited the shrine. After that, he didn't really have anything to do with the shrine. And he ended up moving to Tokyo. But what, what are you doing, Ra Ransai? Ransai, why are you just standing there? Kansai, why are you just standing there? Why is he posing like that? Who is he trying to impress? Is he trying to impress Yuki? Is Yuki just... Is she in the guys who just pose like they're getting ready to fall back? <laughs> Fuki, Fukuyoka, that... That's going to start coming up again. I've got what people call the sixth sense. I can see things normal people can't. Yeah, you can't see the giant X's in the sky. Ghosts, auras, that kind of thing. Oh, I'm so glad. I knew you'd believe me, Rachel. But... Even though I have the sixth sense, I didn't see any ghosts in the city. Watch how it's because we're in a virtual world. We're in a virtual so world. That means the other people are safe, right? Oh, you have other stuff to say. Hey, Aniki, Rachel, thanks for yesterday. We were all brainwashed. Yeah, I love how. And you saved Yes, us. though we had other people, you know. Yeah, and? I mean, we were this close to being sacrificed. No matter how many times I thank you, it's not enough. No. Oh. Thank everyone else. I didn't do a damn thing. You were running with us. Besides, my plan was to just leave you guys behind. <laughs> yeah, it's just the Aniki plan of... Just the classic Aniki plan. Plan B. You just leave everyone behind. Kill them all off. It's obvious, isn't it? We head back to Tokyo. <clears throat> so you were just going to abandon the others? Pretty much. What do you expect? Sure, I was just going to give up on you all. That's the kind of guy I am. No, nothing personal, kid. Where's behind her? I mean, that was you before you knew about the sacrifice, right? Oh. You were doing it for all of us, weren't you, Aniki? I mean, I don't think I can walk anymore. Just let the complainers get some rest. And get those who can still walk to Tokyo as quick as possible. Then you just come back and pick us up later. Yeah, later as in when you're in body bags and your heads can be towed around a basket like a like some basketballs. That's what you were really thinking, wasn't it? Oh. And Jenu told me, as soon as you found out about the sacrifice. You started hunting for mushrooms like crazy. So, just... Thanks for everything. Huh. 
Okay, let's see Kanzai and his posing. Like I said before, Kobe is all about the Hanshin Tigers. To be exact, it's in Nishinomiya. That's where the Tigers' home field is located. For baseball fans like me, that's a holy place. So as soon as you get some rest, that's where we're headed. What? Come this far and not go to the field? Are you nuts? But who will sell us warm beer and overpriced peanuts? It'd be like ordering a takoyaki and leaving the octopus out. The tigers are in a slump right now. In fact, it's the worst slump in their history. But the tigers and that baseball field are where my soul lives. Huh? It'd be better to not go? Good point. No one wants to see a ruined holy place. Oh well. Let's forget about it this time. Yes, and in, in, in reverence, Kanta is just gonna pose like that some more. We were lucky the Amyctoclear was so close. Amyctoclear is a very rare mushroom. Not only does it help the brain recover lost function, <laughs> But just Kanzai his pose. <laughs> just Kanzai posing like that. He's not even blinking. He's just in the state. He's like in the Zen state. It's also known for being delicious. Supposedly, they were so overpicked that there are barely any left. So not only is it a medicine, but it's a much sought after ingredient. I know everyone loved the dish I made the other day. But it's this poor girl. It's all thanks to the ingredients. It couldn't help but be delicious. This poor girl is going to be in for the shock of her life when she finds out the truth. Next time, I won't rely on the ingredients. I'll use my cooking skills. Yuki's food was the nastiest thing I ever ate! I'm saying that right next to Yuki! I feel like I've still got that horrible taste in my mouth. It's like my whole body wants to puke to get it out of there! Hey, she may not be the chef you want, or the chef that this group as a whole deserves, but frankly, she's the, she's the chef that you need, Mao Chan. Just remembering it is making me... I thought I could eat anything, except for tonkotsu ramen, that is. But now that's number one on my list of the world's grossest foods. I think the next time I eat it, I'll die. <laughs> he doesn't even look at her. <sighs> Yum. Delicious. Lifeguard is so Why good. are we, why do we still have that cold? drink I feel it surging through my tired body I'm rejuvenated are you sure that isn't an anabolic steroid did you know lifeguard was first made in 1985 supposedly the concept was survival drink for the modern human it's a super strong energy drink so it's the perfect drink for us right now the crisp sweetness combined with the mild tingle of the soda. I could drink it forever. Mao Chan, the walking soda ad. Are we sure that this isn't Pepsi Man, secret identity? Oh, right. When we were brainwashed, we heard the others talking. They said the sacrifice would be on Shoto Island in the Seto Inland Sea. Wait, so what was that guillotine for? Shoto Island. That place is used lots in movies and TV shows. That's right. The Electro Rangers shot a show on Shoto Island. Yeah, I was Island. just about to say, when are the Electro Rangers going to pop in? Oh, man, I wanted to make a pilgrimage there. Now I'm kind of bummed. Oh, no, no. Don't let Ryan, don't let Conte let you hear that. Don't let him hear you say that, Tatsun. Otherwise, he's going to beat you with his baseball bat for defying his tiger's faith. Yeah. 
Yeah, no comment. More earthquakes! Another earthquake? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. It just stirred up some bad memories. I think it was 1990. That's when all these earthquakes started happening. After that, every country in the world started having giant earthquakes. Of course, lots of people died. One of them was my sister. She died in an earthquake in Kyoto. If only she hadn't gone to Kyoto. Oh, are we gonna say that Jenu's sister was the one that basically everyone's sad about? If I'd stopped her from going, she'd still be alive. Okay, we still got conversation to go. Like I told you earlier, Kobe is all about the Hoseki Zuka Theater Group. Ah, uh, yeah, and then we're gonna have Kansei just coming in with his baseball bat. They're technically from Hosekizuka, but Kobe is where their main theater is. And it's also where the Hosekizuka Musical School is. It's for training future members. So it's truly a holy place for Hosekizuka fans. So after we rest tonight, let's all go together. And see no one? Well, that's what I want to say. But I guess we shouldn't. With the way things are don't want to see the place in ruins and besides I don't have the right I swore I wouldn't go there until I pass music school for my dear sister okay poachy X X Y huh the code that Neil Rose dad gave to her for a second there, I thought he Pochi was missing a shoe. On this paper are numbers. Numbers you need to open God's door. How does he have this flashback? How does Pochi have this flashback? He wasn't there? What, was he hiding in a cabinet somewhere? If something happens to me, use those numbers and open God's door. Numbers. Numbers. Well, we have that X equals 12. Huh. Well, we use the Y. Numerals, X is 10. Yes, but we got that sheet from Yuki, remember? That sheet that said X equals 12. But I don't know what Y could mean. Hmm. I guess this paper isn't enough to figure it out. We need the Y value. We need to find some kind of hint. For Y. Those cold creeps. Mankind is extinct. What a lie! Mankind can't just go extinct like that! <sighs> I mean, it makes me furious, but it would explain this situation. No, I don't believe it! I know my mom and dad are still alive! I just know it! And if they're anything like you, we could probably hear them from here. So Osaka is just right around the corner. I told you, didn't I? There's something important I need to do in Osaka. Destroy us all? I need to know. And I think someone in Osaka can tell me. If there are people in Osaka. By the way, don't even ask what it is. It's a girl's secret. Huh? But are there even any people exactly. in Osaka? Sure, of course there are people. Okay, and finally, Nyoru. The one that taught me the importance of never giving up was my dad. Yes, we learned that in the last level, remember? No matter how bad things got, I never gave up. My dad never gave up either. No matter what the obstacles were, he always overcame them. That's why he made it so far in his research. And it's always been the kind of research to help mankind. When I grow up, I want to be just like my dad. I want to be a great researcher, just like him. 
okay, we talked to everyone, or right, we could talk to you one last time. So, I was thinking about the powers I've got now. That F-bomb. I just thought of the idea and was able to make it so fast. It didn't even feel like it was me doing it. The speed of my thinking, the sensitivity of my touch, it felt almost superhuman. So it must be like the superpower that Rachel has. Was it something we Wait, were born Wait, you're with? talking to Rachel! Or a power implanted in us. Really, you were talking to Rachel. Why do you act like Rachel is distant? Even though it's creepy, I'm kind of happy about it too. I felt like I got a little closer to my dad, the genius. Okay, anything else? Anyone else have anything to say? Okay, we talked to everyone. Man, why did I say we should stay at that cool place? Yeah! Yeah, now you see why I chose not to. I really screwed up. That's minus three points on the leader score. So now you are at approximately negative 23. Just three? <laughs> Just be honest and admit you don't have what it takes to be a leader. Oh, hell no! I'll never say that! I won't hand this leader badge to anyone! Come to think of it, I've always wondered... Why do you want to be the leader so bad anyway, Kansai? Well, well... Nissan! Nissan! It's cause you wanna be like Neon, right? I thought it was Nissan! Neon? Sorry, I got the names mixed up. He was Kansai's baseball coach. Yeah, now the exposition's He's come together. Osaka, and Kansai wants to be just like him. That's why Kansai uses the Kansai dialect, even though he's from Tokyo. Yo, Chuko, you don't have to blab about all that. Ah, uh, come on, what's the problem? Chuko, how do you know so much? I used to watch them practice and go to their games a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, because she has a crush on Kansai. Why? Well... Oh, I know. Chuko has a massive crush on Kansai. Yes, she has very low standards. So she was like his groupie going <laughs> to the baseball field every day. Kansai having a groupie! Right, Chuko? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Neon was a super cool guy. He never said anything when we screwed up. And he was always happy for us when we succeeded. No, so knowing you, Kansai, he probably judged you very thoroughly with his eyes. That or he just said some backhanded, passive-aggressive comments, but they just went right over your head. He's what a real man is supposed to be. But one day, Neon had to move to Kyoto for his work. Damn it. Damn it! And today was our last game! Last? Neon, you're moving to Kyoto, right? So today is the last game you can watch. But we made all those dumb errors! <laughs> hey, you're gonna be captain when you become a sixth grader, right? So you better not say things like that. Huh? Listen to me. To be a true leader, you got to think about how your teammates feel. No matter what happens, you protect your own. That's what a true leader does. A true leader? <laughs> <sighs> Here, take this. But this is your favorite. Yeah, my symbol of leadership. My leader badge. Come visit me in Kyoto and you become a man worthy of that badge. But I... Yeah, I, I just... I, Neon, he's basically just saying, I never have to see your ass again. Don't worry. You're gonna be a great leader someday. I believe in you. <laughs> Neon! Neon! <laughs> so... 
So remember, you gotta become a man worthy of that thing. Or Neon here is gonna have to whoop your butt. Neon's got so, the paddle. That's why, huh? That makes me see you a little different, Kansai. What's the matter, Jenu? You look so serious. No, it's nothing. What's the matter? Did my story make you all weepy? No way. It was a totally stupid story anyway. Right, Mochan? <laughs> I'm full now, so I'm sleepy. What? Sleep already? Hey, Nyoro, why don't we stay up late and do some girl talk? Hmm. I'm kind of tired. Yeah. So maybe we should just rest. I mean, tonight. really? Uh, why aren't you tired of all this cult activity? What are you, an AI? Yeah. If we stay up too late, Nighthawk will kidnap us. Jeez, Tatsun, you're still talking about the Electro Rangers. You're like totally obsessed. That's Tatsun's faith. Well, let's call it a night. And I think that would be a good time to call it an episode. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back with the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. We'll see you next time. Bye.